A guard makes his rounds at the Mama Haidara Commemorative Library in Timbuktu. But there's barely anything left to protect here. These cabinets used to hold tens of thousands of manuscripts, ancient African and Arabic works of poetry, history and law. Today, there's virtually nothing left after the documents were taken to an undisclosed location here in Mali's capital, Bamako. They were smuggled out of Timbuktu in the cover of night, hidden in hundreds of unassuming metal boxes like these. Abdel Qader Haidara is the man behind the dangerous rescue mission. He spent two years and traveled thousands of kilometers to save the scripts. We brought the documents here on boats and in vehicles. We picked a building with two upper floors and stored the manuscripts on the middle floor. That way we can better shield them from the high humidity. The fragile manuscripts may be safe for now, but the conditions here are far from ideal and they can't stay here long term if they're to be preserved. The climate threatens to ruin the centuries old documents. To save the scripts for posterity, they're gradually being transferred to this building, where a special team is carefully restoring, cataloging and digitalizing the collection. Some of the manuscripts are nearly a thousand years old. They tell the stories of generations from Mansa Musa I, the 14th century ruler of the Malian Empire, to French rule in the 20th century. In the future, the documents will be stored in handmade boxes like this one, designed to keep them safe from outside influences like humidity. For Haidara, the German Africa Prize is proof Mali's cultural heritage matters beyond its borders. Although it could have cost him his life, he says he had no choice but to save the documents. The manuscripts are part of who we are. They're our heritage. They're our only and most important legacy, not just for Mali, but for all of Africa. They're the only written testament of Africa's history. That's why I had to save them. Go added the manuscripts to its World Heritage List in 1988. By attacking Timbuktu, it says the Islamist militants threatened to destroy part of West Africa's identity. We were not just talking about uh, destroying, uh, you know, monuments and, and heritage. We were talking about, you know, now uh, destroying elements that were at the heart of the social structure of the communities. But thanks to the courageous efforts of men like Haidara, there's still hope that centuries of African history will live on.